Hello, my fellow snobs. I am the Stuck Up Gamer, and welcome back to some more Life is Strange. Um. Um. I had a panic attack recently, so, um. And it was over some stuff I'm not gonna say, but. It's. Just, I don't know, let's start the episode. Just, it hurts. It hurts. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's what the episode's called. It's just the Listen, dark room. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> but when your dad lives, your life is even more worse. Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Well, looks like we're stuck in this time zone. Kitty, kitty. Come here. Thank you, kitty. Peaceful. I mean, besides the wash of oil's dead. It's awful. So for dark room. It hurts to see Chloe like that. I can't. It just hurts. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. 
And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. Mm. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Could. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Mm -hmm. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh... No. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, uh. and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. <laughs> Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Dang, that's Chloe's favorite word. In the other world. ironic it's so let's see would chloe rather want william to die her still be walking and have a free choice of life or william to live and her live an awful life and be crippled literally from head to toe stephen hawking style Oh, it's a pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Can we just go back to the other world? This is... <laughs> awful. Snow globes are taking over. <laughs> oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hmm. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Got a room. Wasn't her room upstairs? It's weird. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? Her she can't even upstairs. feel the grass now. That's a serious heat lamp. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. It's like literally dying over there and I'm looking at her I stuff. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. Mm. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Oh. Closed her out. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. <laughs> Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. <laughs> I'm sure that made her feel great. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Where is your glass of water? Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Oh, pfft. there it is. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, you you'd have say. to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot, either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. 
And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Mm -mm. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Uh, well, let's get this show on the road. And you better did. not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Watch me fall asleep. Kitty kitty. Let's look in here. Here's the DVD. Wow, I got that easy. Here. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. Wow. That, that's cringe worthy right there. One of them's probably going to fall asleep. You just wait. You fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? Hmm. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. Hmm. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. Mm. You meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. <laughs> never end 
Oh my god. Max and Nathan was worried too. Oh my gosh, why does Victoria like me so much? That is new. Look at your max. I wonder if you told Chloe in our world about this Chloe if she changed her mind. Nothing here. You can pop some pills. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. <laughs> the bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. I checked all the drawers. Nothing here. It's oh, did I check the right side? The bathroom looks almost left side. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. This was her room. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. At least we never had to hide from step douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? Yeah, that's a good point. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. We have millions of dollars sitting up there, but you know. Joyce. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. How are you Good feeling, morning, Joyce? Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. She's depressed. Jesus, they're heavily depressed. God, I like the other reality. I mean, yeah, she has a point. They're they're a family, but dang, how could you be happy just seeing it like that? <sighs> Not gonna bother William. I'll get you out her bathroom. Oh. That was giving me the option to check out her bathroom. I really want to look in there. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. 
I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> Uh, You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Reeked. See this? Kitty, kitty. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Yeah, turn page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. It's up. Oh man, here? there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Yes. Maybe I could. Yes. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. No, don't ask what? me to pull the plug. What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. This is awful. You understand? Yes. Yes. You asked me to pull the plug. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Do we have the choice? Accept, refuse, I don't know. Don't give me three choices. Don't you dare. Chloe, I'll just drift to sleep. Dreaming of us here together, forever. Okay. Got you. This is awful. I don't want to do it at all. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Oh. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. This is awful. Sooner than you think.
Oh my god, nope, we're, we're photo hopping. This is... We better be able to photo hop. Come on, take the photo and photo hop, Max. Please, God, do it. I'm tired of this reality. This is awful. This is worse on Chloe. We need to tell few, n old Chloe about it. I don't, new Chloe's living an awful life. I'm sorry, William. That's why. That's right. That's right. There we go. We did it. Photo Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college bond? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. And he walks out the door. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but Come on, you have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Yes, there you go. Good job, Max. That was perfect. That was perfect. Funeral. There we go. Chloe on the streets. Rachel and Chloe Barry. Is that for looking out the backyard? I took a picture of that. I'm telling you this, I did not take a picture of that. That's a memory. I still change some stuff in the future, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I still change some stuff. I'm not sure what I changed, but I changed something. We're back in your good time, Max. Your good, good time. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? 
I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Oh. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Yeah. So anyway, guys, it's a good way to end this part of the episode Let's here. Look. If you want more, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.